The following video is sponsored by InstantMaddenCoins.com. The only place to get Madden coins instantly on every console and platform is InstantMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is up guys? Clickwood here back with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video for you guys. Today we got some brand new content to add to the game, including a 99 overall Deion Sanders, which has the pick six chemistry and the return man chemistry along with his primetime chemistry. This pick six one, I believe is brand new. I'm not even sure if return man's been in the game before. I don't recall it being in a card. Maybe it was. You guys can let me know in the comments section below. Call me an idiot, whatever. But I know that the pick six one is brand new. To be honest with you guys, because I haven't seen this card yet on the auction house, I have no idea what the pick six chemistry does. Like, I have absolutely no idea. My guess is that maybe it gives you, like, a, a better a ability to catch the ball on interceptions, maybe some agility after the catch, some juke move, that kind of stuff. I don't exactly know, but that's just my assumption. Probably similar type of things for the return man chemistry as well. But the bottom line is that this ultimate sand or ultimate master Deion Sanders is a beast. 99 overall card. Very, very nice. However, today what I want to talk about is a little bit of my frustration because this thing is going to cost you a ton to complete. Like a ridiculous amount of coins to complete. So to complete it, you're first going to need to have 25 elite badges just right off the bat. The bat. 25 elite badges. Now, I'll tell you guys, these elite badges right now are going for about 40,000 coins. Now, it's fair. Well, actually, let's go Let's go in and take a look and see what they're going for because I do think that they're going to drop a little bit. Yeah, so it looks like maybe they're down to... Okay, so 33.5. Now, my guess is that they're probably going to drop back down to being, you know, low to mid-20s, somewhere in that range. So I'll talk about the cost of actually completing this thing in a little bit here, but just keep that in mind. This is going to cost you 25 of these elite badges just right off the top. So if you had to do, you know, if they were 20 of 25 of them at the current price think about how much that's going to cost you i mean we're talking six seven hundred thousand coins just for elite badges very very expensive just off the bat okay other things that you have to have completed mid-season master which got you that josh norman before now there's also new things as well team mvp master team mvps also came out today the overall challenge that also came out today and the new nfl journey also came out today so three additional things now these are all solo challengers these two things are solo challenges so not a big deal there don't have to worry about that although the overall challenge is going to cost you because you're going to have to have a high overall team to actually even unlock those solo challenges but the NFL journey, that's just something you can go through and do. Um, you do get a ton of coins for that. Well, I shouldn't say a ton. You get a good amount of coins, and you also get some packs for it as well. So it's not bad. I always like the journeys just because it's kind of free to do them. I mean, aside from the contracts, of course. But contracts at this point aren't too expensive um, You know, in, in relation to how many coins most people have. Continuing on, uh, the Team MVP Master. This is the thing that's going to cost you a lot to complete. So we're going to go back and we're going to look, take a look at the Team MVP Master set because this thing is quite expensive. Like I said, it just came out today um, and it is very, very expensive to complete. So first of all, you, there is uh, obviously 32 NFL teams. There's also a free agent MVP card. This is CJ Spiller 95 overall. Um, so, you know, keep in mind, guys, these cards are going to cost you a little bit to complete as well. Um, different uh, stuff for each one, obviously, but for the most part, they're going to be pretty much the same thing. So you're going to need to have like for this in this case, gold players for the Giants. You're going to need all of those. And uh, for each one of these teams, you're going to also need silver players. So you've got a lot of different uh, stuff that you need for each of these. And then in addition to that, five elite badges for each and every one of these players. So keep in mind, again, 32 of these plus the free agency one. And then you got to go in here and complete the MVP master Aaron Donald, which is going to give you, you know, it's going to cost you quite a bit to complete as well. So you're going to need all of those. And then you're also going to need, well, actually, excuse me. This is just going to give you, if once you complete all of those, you're going to be able to get your Aaron Donald because each of those are collectibles. I apologize. I got a little bit confused there, but um, you get, like I said, once you complete each of those team MVP sets, you're going to get a collectible. You throw it into this Aaron Donald set, and then you're going to have the Aaron Donald. So. There you have it. That's kind of the quick run through of what you need. Now, I'm going to give you a, a breakdown of exactly how much this is going to cost you to actually complete because it's kind of crazy, guys. It really, really is. So, again, when you go in and you take a look at each team, you're going to need to have gold players and silver players for each and every one of them. 
there's a total of 33 or excuse me uh 990 total gold players that go into these sets 990 think about that 990 man that's absolutely crazy in addition to that you'll need 990 silver players when you complete all of these think about how many you can even have in your binder at once you can't even have this many cards once again ea please at least increase our freaking binder space like dear god i know they kind of do it for our own help in a way because you know obviously it, it's kind of dumb to just hold on to thousands of items at a time but for completing big ass sets like this we need to be able to have somewhere to store all these fucking players man like come on give me a break now granted again you can go in and individually buy them and then throw them into the set whatever and you don't necessarily have to have them sitting in your binder but it's a lot quicker to do it that way so i i definitely don't like the way that they're doing that but again 990 silver players 990 gold players now if you just look at that if you consider that the average gold player some of them are going to be a little more expensive because these mvp players are actually pretty decent to be honest with you they're 95 overall um and there's some beast ass players as well like uh let's see here dak prescott the homie dak prescott's in there um again there's a couple that are really really good i'm trying to remember uh ch -ch 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 -ch. maybe i'm passing them up here even reggie nelson i know is a good one Mike Wallace, here you go, 90, I think this one has like 95 speed, this Mike Wallace I believe has 95 speed, so that's probably going to be a little more expensive, but if you consider that the average gold player is going to be about 12, 1200 coins or so, it might go up a little bit for some teams, maybe a little bit down for other teams, but on average maybe around 1200 coins, multiply that by 990, which is the amount of gold cards that you need to actually complete these sets, you're talking about over a million coins, 1,080,000 coins to complete just the gold players. In addition to that, you're gonna need the silvers as well. Silvers, again, some of them are gonna be a little more expensive, some of them will, will be a little bit less expensive, but average maybe around like 700 coins or so, okay? If you, if you really sit and grind and you, you watch the auction house and you get those silver cards for a good price, 700 coins or so, times 990, you're looking at just about 700,000 for that. I, cal I calculated 693,000. So, if you just add those two things up, you're talking about well over 1.7 million coins just for the players to complete these MVP sets. Now, that's not necessarily that much. If that was it, that wouldn't be that bad at all. Like, I think we could all complete this set relatively easily. You know, obviously, I don't have the coins for it right now, but, you know, I could get the coins if I need them. Um, but the big thing elite badges remember how i mentioned that each and every one of these players is going to need an elite badge or five elite badges add that up guys you're talking about 190 total elite badges that is freaking insane 190 elite badges now i mentioned before that they were going for around 40,000 when i first looked they're going for like 35 33,000 now i'm guessing that they'll get down to low to mid 20s like i said before so even if you just calculate that up, okay, 20,000, if you got them all at 20,000, 20,000 times 190 elite badges, we're talking 3.8 million coins just in elite badges. So add that all up, guys. 3.8 million plus the silver players plus the gold players. I calculated, this is an estimate, but I calculated 5.57 million coins to complete these team MVPs. 5.57 million coins now again you are going to get these team mvps however what can you really do with them man like once you're already at that point you're getting a 95 overall but to complete this set you need a 98 overall team so the 95s aren't necessarily going to get you there so that's pretty damn frustrating you need to have a 98 overall team because in order to complete this, you do have to do those solo challenges, like I mentioned, the overall solo challenges. So go in here and you take a look at your solo challenges, and you're going to see that in order to, to get there, you got to get the overall master solo challenges done. Now, the overall solo challenges, there's a 94 overall challenge, which you can get to relatively easily, 96, again, relatively easily. But the 98 overall one, that is going to cost you. That's going to cost you a lot because to create a 98 overall team, even at this point in the game, is pretty expensive. So that's pretty frustrating to me. Um, and again, you do get some stuff when you do these, but like 
still 20,000, 30,000 coins, that's just not that much, to be honest with you, uh, when it's going to cost you that much to way more than that to complete this and, and to actually get yourself up to a 98 overall team if you're not already there. So my opinion on this, uh, I'm pretty frustrated. I think this Deion Sanders is going to be ridiculously expensive in the end. And uh, I'm not really sure that he's going to be worth it, to be honest with you, because if you really consider how much or how many good cornerback cards are going to come out, I just don't know, man. I, I guess maybe those chemistries are going to be so rare that it might be worth it. And they might be just so ridiculous that getting the Deion Sanders will be worth it. But to me, I just don't see it that way. I, I think that you're going to end up spending so many coins on this and being a little bit disappointed in the end when all these other cornerbacks come out that are 99 overall in the next months or so especially once we get those golden tickets I guarantee there's going to be some cornerbacks in there and they're going to be better than this Dion in terms of pure attributes so anyway guys that is my opinion on this thing again 5.573 million in addition to having a 98 overall team that's pretty expensive so uh, very, very expensive to complete this. I just, I don't know, man. What do you guys think about this whole thing? Do you think it's a good set? Do you think they just ask for too much every time with any of these types of sets? Let me know in the comment section below, guys, what you think. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor and drop a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.